Isaiah 54, verse 2 and 3. Well, with the way that the Lord gave it to me, it is not difficult to do at all. Because we got to understand, in order to be able to enlarge or to uh, stretch forth or to lengthen, uh, you've got to have some relentless faith in order to do what God has told you that you've got to do. Amen. Every one of us here uh, have been given an assignment on this earth or in this earth realm. And it takes faith, a faith walk, a faith walk. For us to be able to carry forth that assignment in the earth realm. Some people not going to like you. Some people going to talk about you. Some people going to set traps for you. Some people going to dog you out. And I'm you're going to have some haters. You're going to have some haters. But nevertheless, you have got to continue on in the assignment that God has given unto you. And amen, somebody. Many times we find ourselves not working the assignment because we get swayed by what somebody may say. Yeah. If God has given you the vision, it's for you to work. Huh? Amen. It is not for somebody to cross uh, 10 foot 2 down the street, count, what I said, the uh, word of capital the word. Come on, whatever uh, God has given to Pastor Luke is for ways work. Yeah. Uh, y'all, come on, y'all are talking to me. Whatever God has given to Word of Faith, I got to work it on Ministry Road. Come on, somebody. He may extend me a little farther, but nevertheless, I got a reason. You got a reason whereby God has given us to work this thing. And if you're working, it'll work. Glory to God. Uh, as a prophet said, we should all in us because if you work the Word, baby, the Word will work for you. But you got to do something. You got to do something. It's going to call for you to have faith in order to step out because your vision is going to be bigger than you. Oh, God. Uh, uh, the vision is going to cost more than what you got in your pocketbook. So you got to trust God. You, you got to trust God. That's why you heard me how about $10 million. I ain't got $10 million yet. But I believe that God is able to give it to us because I want it for the kingdom. I, we got to be a faith. Relentless faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to have relentless faith. You, 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 
got that. I, I think about a bulldog in a fresh meat market. Ooh. Real, huh? Because when they bite into something, they can lock on to it. And, oh, you gotta have that kind of faith that they're gonna lock in. Oh God, I sound like Jack McCullough just then. Yeah, you gotta have that kind of faith to lock in on what God has told you to do. And you come on, somebody, a Catholic gateway is building because God told them to build.
I said, you better grab hold. Mm -hmm. I said, because I, I ain't got time to wait now. Mm -hmm. But when God said move, I got to move. All right. Hallelujah. So I said, grab hold. But whatever part you can grab. I said, because if I go up and you grab hold, we all go on up. Yeah. And this man here is to take everybody up in Jesus as many people as I can. I don't want nobody to be lost. Amen. I don't want nobody to be lost. Glory to God. But some of them, some of them, they're going to be lost. Mm -hmm. See it. Make the money. Go on, cause they ain't no party down there. Amen. And then you can ain't no ice water, ain't no air conditioning, ain't no lemonade, ain't no green tea. And the thing is, ain't no fans. Amen. And then listen, if you, if you think you gonna have a piece of paper to make one, I got news for you, it's gonna burn us. In the ways of God, in the standards 
ordinance of God, in the statutes of God. Uh, anybody in the house? When a person becomes comfortable in their life, there is a danger of becoming lifeless. Mm -hmm. uh, when a person becomes lifeless, they stop reaching. Uh, and when they stop reaching, they stop pressing. They stop striving to move or go to the next level or dimension in their lives. That's why some people are not growing in some ministries because it is not the preacher, it is not the apostle, it is not the uh, prophet, it is not the uh, uh, evangelist, it is not the pastor or the teacher. You got something to do. Amen. You better say that. You got to have ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. You got to learn how to open up your mouth and praise God. You got to learn how to worship God. You got to have a relationship with the Lord. You got to make a decision that you're going to live a holy and righteous life. You got to make a decision that sin is wrong, but holiness is right. You got to make a decision that I'll keep my mind stayed on the Lord because He promised me if I keep my mind stayed on Him, He would keep me in perfect peace. You got to make a decision. Amen. Amen. You got. Hallelujah. I can't, I can't do it for you. I wish I could, but I can't do it for you. As much as I love word of faith, I can't do it for them. Faith, you have to make a decision. Hallelujah. And so, the, the